Still doing work on this thing. Uh, engine's about to come out, but I got the new engine here on a stand. Uh, when I bought this engine, the person who sold it to me said it had rod knock, so I pulled the oil pan and looked at everything, and it does have rod knock, so I'm going to explain what rod knock is, and I'm going to show what it's doing on this engine. Um, so here's two pistons here. This is representing the crankshaft on a, on a good piston. You can see all I did was remove the the rod bearing to kind of simulate a bad or a worn bearing. Um, so you can see when I push up on this, my simulated crankshaft, the rod moves nice with the shaft. So when I move it over to this side, it has a lot of play in it. So when I lift up, it doesn't move the rod. So now it moves it, it has the play, it comes back down. And that's going to be the knocking here in the engine. Um, so that could be from a lack of oil. Um, rod bearings wear out. And then the gap opens up a little bit more and then it starts to knock. So I'm going to show you what it actually looks like on the engine. So you can see this. This is the number one cylinder. This cylinder's down right now. So, go from this side. So this is, this is actually the crankshaft here. So, when I push up on this, that shouldn't be moving. So that means that that bearing is worn or bad or the crankshaft is actually worn down. It could be worn bad enough that it's worn actually into the rod. So the the bearings, the rods, the crankshaft might all need to be replaced, but I'll know more once I actually pull it apart. But you can hear it knocking just like that. So when that crankshaft is spinning at two or three thousand or whatever RPM you're at, that's the noise you're going to hear. So that's what rod knock is. And these other two cylinders, two and three, are actually a little bit loose too. So. Um, Hoping the crankshaft's still good, but that's a brief explanation of rod knock. And now I'm going to sleep.